Welcome to the Old School RuneScape Podcast. I am Mint Mad Cow. What's going on, boys? Rakes, as always. And hello, it's Rice Cub. My God, I we did it first time. We did it. Yes. I was wondering yeah, we if it. you were going to remember the new intro. And I mm -hmm. saw him pause for a second. Everything loaded in that forehead. And he's like, yep, I got this. So yeah. proud of my boy, dude. First, before we start, we are back. And we need some likes, dude. Let's start this with a sellout. <laughs> Can we hit 500 likes for this podcast back? We got a ton planned for you. We're about to lay out what we're going to go do. Oh, we've been working on. Look around, dude. What's new on the podcast? We're coming back with heat. Oh, yeah. Come back with heat. Help us oh, out. Yeah. Tell us you're happy to see us in the comments. Or I'm going to cry. I will. So that's all I had to do. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not going to talk anymore. We have a lot to say. We do have a lot to yeah, say. Yeah. So yeah, uh, boys, it's good to be back. I think the last podcast we did was probably about a month, a month ago. ago. Yeah, yeah. So not too, bro. Not terrible. I, not terrible. I feel yet. like you know at this point we kind of just do this, don't we? Like we kind of have breaks here or there when we just need to have a breather, like when we just need to focus on stuff in our real lives or whatever. And I think this is not really any exception, to be honest. So. I think it's okay. I mean, a month is not terrible compared to like when we went away for like more than that. You know, I think a month <laughs> away to breathe. You know, like our yeah. stuff. It's good. you know those animes though, where they got the main hero and he goes away for a couple months. And he's just sitting there, just jack and weights, bro, and lifting, and eating creatine. That's pretty much what we were doing. So it's not like we were slacking off. Yeah, we my were out brain here grinding, bro. Yeah, my All brain's right. been stimulated for ideas, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been, we've been so hard, you know, hardened veterans out here, dude. We're coming back with a vengeance. We got a game plan. We got some brand new art, dude. Tom, can you tell us about this art, by the way? This was pretty much his endeavor right here. He led this, so. Yeah. He was so synergy. If you guys uh, haven't seen, and hopefully you guys, when you see this video, you're going to recognize the, uh, the new avatar we have. So we've basically had a complete refurb on the channel. Uh, as you guys can probably tell from this overlay right here, We've, we've changed some things, right? A few things have been highlighted, okay? So firstly, our Tile Man video, which I know you guys absolutely loved. Now, we've got some tragic <clears throat> news regarding the Tile Man, but something that was very obvious with that episode was that we didn't quite have the right overlay, right? It was very scuffed. So we now have three brand new overlays. This is going to be the main one, as you guys can see. And also something amazing about this is, like, it fits perfectly with our cams right i didn't even have to like change the size of it to make it fit like absolutely beautiful um we have two others one of which is if we're ever playing in games such as the tile man uh and then the last one is if we're ever reading like the runescape news post and we can have all the cams all of that information everywhere um on top of that we have a new banner which if you guys haven't seen you guys should definitely go check it out right now go and have a look it looks fantastic so nice. so um, good and yes. I think I think that's it really. And then we've um we've for the very dude, I don't know about you guys, but we have like cartoon characters of us. And it's I didn't know which one I was. I wasn't sure if I was this one here or if I was you mint. I'm not gonna lie. Because I, I genuinely didn't know which one I was. I had to ask and I felt really <laughs> rude asking like the artist saying, Hey, uh, which one am I? <laughs> Cause that's you know what I mean? But like it I think what it is is I've never imagined myself as a cartoon before. Do you know what I mean? So I was just like I, I've got no idea what I'd look like. It was You're really, not a real weeb. Yeah, yeah. Dude, your really your cool. avatar is hot AF Tom. I mean, <laughs> is there like what happened there? Did you tell him we were making avatars and I, you're like, you like yeah. like twenty percent sexier <laughs> than the rest? Is that yeah, what dude. went down, dude? I, I was just like, listen, the guys don't need to know. Like, firstly, Put me in the middle so it shows the importance <laughs> and also make me handsome as fuck. <laughs> this no. man's like, he's look, like, if I saw him in a bar, I'd question my sexuality for a brief second, dude. He looks too good, bro. Look at him. Man, looks Only like a cartoon for him, though. Bro, he's I literally, Viking, I actually, I did say to her, uh, the artist Lazy, by the way, shout out to Lazy. She's fantastic. Um, I said to her, I said, you know, just please don't make me obese. I was, I, was, I, was, I was like, don't make me super fat. Send it. Like, just show me what you got. Can we um, get a fat me. version, please? I would like a fat version. Just, just, it would be great just to see it, Brown. Yeah, oh and Rick, Rick C's ideal look is is that cartoon right there. You know, he's going to go to the gym to match it, you know? 
It is. It's actually mad handsome, isn't it? God damn. I don't it know why she. Very nice, dude. I don't know why she it did very me nice. like that. Bro, by, I like. By the way, um, I just got to say that we, as a podcast, have never really made any money doing this. So even though we do take breaks, it's not like we're profiting here. So we do have this fund where all the revenue goes into. And this is like one of the first things we spent the fund on, which is caricatures of ourselves, layout, brand new art. So, uh, yo, shouts to Lazy for helping us out. It, it looks so clean, so good. It feels like I can really focus on the conversation too. Like the nice gray yeah. in the background, bro. Oh yep. man, I love it. This is how we're going to spend our money going forward too. We're not yeah, as much of Yeah, much of it to stuff, improve. Dude. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we really just want to improve the podcast as much as possible, you know? Yeah. So, and that's so that's like an interesting like, conversation because like you know like, mm-hmm. it, we're kind of limited in some regards to how much like we can do certain things right to improve the quality of the podcast uh i think like the biggest thing that both of you can do is probably upgrade your um uh, your <laughs> audio right i'm just i'm just gonna throw you guys under the bus yeah no but, like, i mean yeah that's, you know, a, that, that's something that will happen you know, like my blue yeti dude It'll happen eventually. Bro, what, 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 wait, is it like the snowball one with like the legs, or is it? <laughs> that's the better one. It's not one I filter right here, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, hey, to be Chris, fair, that's hard, it's man. it's a solid <laughs> microphone. And listen, I'm not saying that my sure SM7B is superior, but listen, I haven't fine tuned. He's just wanking I... over there. Look, he's just sucking himself <laughs> off of in that corner. Now he just pulls out his mic. Like, I'm not saying I'm better than nobody here. <laughs> Hey, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, man. Like, I, I like to upgrade, so eventually I'll probably get myself, like, one of those podcast, uh, you know, mics or whatever, right? Yeah. Well, hopefully we, you won't as, recognize a, me anymore. as a podcast, yeah. and the fun's hitting that one area, we can start mm-hmm. getting ourselves upgrades for even our own setups to make the podcast better. Like, yeah, I just, just wanted to, to make that a big point that mm-hmm. we're doing this out of pure passion for the community. We want to talk, we want to talk about the subjects that aren't covered. Uh, and we want to really dive into that, the bugs, the glitches, the no updates for PvP, Raids 3 coming out. We enjoy that. We're not actually just banking profit, Raids yep. Shadow Legends, no hate on that. So just, I really wanted to make that known yeah. to the community that that's why we're here. All right, we're out it, here. We're kind of like, kind of bad at this, I'm not going to lie, because you're right, we, we actually have never, we've never had a paycheck from doing this. Like, no. nothing. Nothing. How at long? All. How long have we been doing doing this channel to you? I think like uh, a few four, years. Two four years. Year, four off years. Off and on. Off four and on. Years. Like, yeah. I made four it four years. years ago, and then I and I got these bad boys on here to create the ultimate trio, and I have we have yet to make a dime. <laughs> but we have built a very awesome community, and we're gonna try to treat you boys better with some more uploads, hmm. and uh, we're gonna definitely dive deeper into the. Yeah. Honestly, the the reason why I made this podcast with the boys is to to bring attention to the subjects that don't get attention. I was kind of tired of listening to Q and A's and going, okay, they're covering some of this stuff, most of it on Reddit, but that's not what the silent majority wants to hear about, right? So really, this is for the silent majority. We want to talk about things that aren't talked about, and maybe things that are. Yeah. We here, and uh, I, I gotta say, we've talked about a lot of good things so far, dude. More to come. Or especially dude. in the future, dude. Should we start talking about um, where we've been doing our solo grinds or what we want to bring to the podcast here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah let's do it. So, um, I'll, I'll start if you guys don't mind. So, sure. I have been grinding like my ass off, dude. I've been just pretty much just making money. So, finished my uh, making max cash with the Tebow series quite some time back, actually, and. I think most of us content creators have kind of just been plodding along until Raids 3 because we know it's coming out and it's like, it's going to be the content that we do. So I, I'm kind of like in that, like, I'm in that part right now between Raids 3 and it's like, what can I do up until then? And although my bank, I think when I ended my series was like 3.9 bill, I believe. So just under 4 bill. Um, I'm still, I'm still missing loads of items, man. Like, I don't have an Elijah and Spirit Shield. Uh, I was missing a Torva Helmet. I was even missing Dragon Claws, right? So I'm just slowly, like, chipping away at, like, getting all of these items, uh, items back. Um, and that's pretty much all I've been up to. I've been going mad with TOB. I've been doing raids. But mostly, I've been killing necks. And I know that Rice Cup can, um relate to that because you were stuck there for like 4,000 kills. I think so far I've done a, 
about 500 small man teams. So, like, nothing compared to what you've done. But, I, you know, I completely understand why people get frustrated with that place. But at the same time, I, I'm actually really enjoying it because, for me, I'm not going for collection logs. I don't need to get every piece. I'm happy every time again I am. You know, and that that's one of the perks of being a main account. I get splits. Man, just roasting iron. Hey, I'm an iron <laughs> man lover, dude. Hey, I well, would you, never pick one. All right, you more power you to you, boys. It. Okay, you chose it, Rice Cup. So there's only so much sympathy yeah, yeah. I can have for your your. Yeah, kind. no, I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I guess it's my turn. But I mean, for me personally, uh, regardless if you know podcast is going on or not, right? I'm always focusing on my my personal channel. Right, so just working on my accounts, but yeah, recently I've just been grinding next because uh, on my Iron Man, I I tend to try to get all the best and some stuff, right, and and have some fun with it and and to further the account. So next has been something I've been doing for like four plus months. Um, I really didn't even care to complete like all of the drops. I wanted to get full Torva at least, but the stupid thing is, uh, getting the legs was like literally the last item left. So it was four times the rate, and that and that ended up completing the log anyway. So that was like a nice touch. But yeah, just full Torva took all the way to the end. So, so that's uh, something I recently finished, and I've just been working on the hardcore environment again for a bit until race three. But like you know, the boys are back in town, and we are planning some <laughs> crazy, crazy, uh, like honestly, just more refined, more structured. More method, you know, method, uh, whatever that word is, right? Just, just like the method in which we, we try to execute our podcast. It's gonna be cleaner than ever before. Oh, um, before I get into that though, we, we, we do, we did promise that if we did hit ten k subs, we would actually put our stuff on Spotify. So we're gonna definitely try to do that. You know, we've already kind of, um, so yep. promised you guys that already. So hey, it's coming up. Uh, we've noticed the channel's been booming, even though we haven't been doing anything. And the sub count is getting there, so definitely yep. expect some Spotify, future Spotify um, uploads soon. Okay. Yeah. But yes, I'm yeah, pumped yeah. for Spotify, bro. I almost yeah. forgot about that platform. Oh, dude, I'm. So I just wanted to mention that because, because <laughs> like before we started the podcast, we were talking about like, okay, you know, what's like the current plan structure. So we have like some really good plan structure, uh, particularly for my uh, my my specialty. Of course, is like the PVM stuff, right? So race three, that's gonna basically be the highlight piece for a long time. It's gonna affect the game in so many different ways. So we're definitely gonna have, have a podcast to talk about race three now that we have more information about it before the actual update. So a week before, and then of course as race three progresses and and people start figuring more things about it, you know, I'm sure there'll be some drama. There'll be a lot of exciting moments that comes out of race three, whether it's item testing or some bug, you know, or some crazy moments. Like I'm sure we'll have a really good podcast. To talk about kind of like post update race three as well so lots of interesting pvm <clears throat> things to certainly talk about i mean we, we definitely don't ever not have enough things pvm related to talk about since this game is very heavy on that but yeah i have a lot personally to say and uh, a lot of interesting topics to you know go go forward with in, in future podcasts so we did kind of like uh, as a as a group realize that hey you know we've gotten a lot of the po podcasts with guests specifically but I think a lot of us now realize that we kind of need to focus a bit more on the topic at hand. And so sometimes, you know, we'll, we'll bring back a lot of like reoccurring guests if we can. And occasionally oh, yeah. we'll bring in some new guests to focus on them. But, but I, think, I think going forward, though, we're, we're <laughs> very heavy on the topic at hand. So we'll try to find some really interesting topics where we can really dive in for an hour or two and, you know, maybe have a guest with it. So that's kind of like our, our main pathway uh, going forward for some time. But yeah, that's that's my piece. Yeah, nice man, dude. Can you imagine we get Elon on though? Like one day, the man oh. tweeted Green Dragon Bot on Twitter. All right, there's Bro? there's oh, a man. some sort of correlating path where if we just keep succeeding, there's a small yes. chance we could have Elon Musk on, dude. Not saying a big chance, I'm saying a small. Yeah, chance. no, I mean like for example, Elon Musk posted a ton about freaking um, Elden Ring, right? So hey, if you know, RuneScape's popping, right? And it gets mm -hmm. his interest, dude. He'll he'll post he'll post me a freaking uh, gnome child all day every day, you know, right? And maybe us. <laughs> well, yeah. For that. yeah. Um. So what have I been doing? What has Minty been doing, bro? I will say I've had the hardest year of my life. Uh, I pretty much saw that there was no PvP content, almost still no PvP content in RuneScape, and that was about a year and a half ago. And I just took the largest break. I've ever taken from streaming and content creating uh, since my seven years 
when I was doing that. And uh, my dream was, and it still is, is to die in my chair old <laughs> while live on stream. And I want to say something real nice <laughs> as my last words, dude. I wanted to go down in history. I'm not, I want to say some real profound shit right before I pass. And in order to do that, I got to secure my wealth. And uh, that's what I was trying to do. And then the market fell and tears were also falling. So uh, I saw that RuneScape added back the Rev Boss, which is one of the best Rev, one of the best bosses mechanically they've ever put in the wilderness or in the game. <laughs> and I don't think I've, no, for sure. Yeah. No. It is. Don't it is, like that. Oh you're, yeah. You're it is trolling. one of the top 1% best Ooh. bosses ever to hit old school RuneScape. The, uh, y'all, y'all don't understand, dude. This shit is fire, bro. Okay, dude, it's I've like seen the giant mole with extra pretty good. steps, dude. <laughs> when you are given a speck of water in the desert, do you shit on the water? No, you sip that bitch up, right? And that's what I did. When when the rev boss <laughs> hit the desert, which I call the wilderness, I didn't leave the caves. That's when I started becoming a content creator again. And I literally told my YouTube audience. I'm about to spam Rev Cave content for the next whenever another update hits. And they thought I was joking. Now, after like 13 videos, they're like, can we get some outside of Rev Caves? I'm like, no, no, you can't. There's, <laughs> there's nothing outside of Rev Caves. We're going to keep getting this content. So I'm back in RuneScape now, streaming daily. I got my videos going. I think the biggest thing I want to really work on, other than the podcast and bringing these really deep subjects to light, uh, to light like uh, i don't know the bugs that are happening or why is there no updates for pvp or anything i'd like to talk about with the boys uh, i also want to also work on mint mad tournament tuesdays i want to see if i can create some sort of esport hype in my community because i feel like with the pvp arena now we have the tools to create our own tournaments we don't got to wait on jagex and their little fucking seven bond prize looking ass, dude. We can make our own now with whatever prize we want. We can get a prize pool from the community and we can start making our own hype. So I'm going to try to do that. I'm trying to take matters in my own hands. Honestly, why we're starting a podcast is uh, just a part of it is like we're taking the subject matter into our own hands. We're talking about things that are not talked about. And that's why I'm here. I want to bring the things that we are not talking about to light. Honestly, a lot yep. of the bugs, a lot of the problems, a lot of the dead areas. Uh, just pretty much all I've been grinding right now is just RuneScape PvP and just ways to bring that into the mainstream media, to bring them somewhere higher than we are now. Just any step forward, dude. Any possibly tiny step, maybe even getting the the Jagex team to even acknowledge the wilderness. And honestly, it looks like with the wilderness wilderness boss rework, we might get there. So I'm I'm excited about that too. So I'm excited for the future. I'm here now. I'm creating more content, and I got plans. So that's what I've been up to. It's been a pretty, pretty struggling year. Yeah, Still man. struggling. But we out here. Dude, you, out I here mean, I, I've noticed it a lot recently. Donate to Mint, sub to Mint, twitch.tv slash Mint. Pumping out the yeah. content, bro. And, like, you're doing great. Honestly, like, you're you're doing fantastic, man. I've been watching your videos. Do you know, do you know I recently, like, I have been Thanks, watching man. pretty much all of your videos. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you something right now is... I feel like you're one of the few content creators that can basically do almost the same thing every video, but it's still interesting, which is like a huge <laughs> fucking credit to you. But, but what I mean by that, and I don't mean that like in a rude way, is that you go to the Rev Cave every video, right? And it's kind of like, like, if we were to do this in PVM, it'd be like every video I upload is like TOB. And it's like, oh, what are we going to get from TOB today? But like, I'm a one trick pony. Yeah, but but it's like it's interesting, man. And like I, I was just looking at your thumbnails for like your last like ten videos, and every single one apart from your hill giant video is like in the rev cave. But you still make it really interesting, and you're smashing it, dude. You're doing really well, man. You should keep that shit up. It's good to see. I, I appreciate it, man. Every um, God, it's just crazy the workload lately. But it's honestly nice to hear that, man. Thank you. I appreciate. I hope we get some content so I can make something a little newer. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to venture outside the caves just a bit, but uh, we're talking like 50, <laughs> 60 hours of video grind. Like people don't see it, but there is nothing out there. Dude. I make jokes when I kill people for like 200K. I'm like, that's Twitch exclusive right there. Straight to DVD. That ain't making a video, <laughs> right? Because it's these people, when you find them, they're not risking. You're like two hours in, one dude, and he's got like a knife. You're like, well, I can't upload this, bro. I guess yeah, another two hours later, hopefully find a whale or something. So thank you. Thank you. We try. Yeah. 
I mean, that's probably the thing with the wilderness. Like, so if I was to make a video on the wilderness, it probably wouldn't be in the Rev Cave. And it's more because I have more nostalgia to the rest of the wildy. And also, I, I feel like everybody does it, right? Whereas, like, if you get, like, say, for example, people have done this in the past, like, go to Mage Bank and camp Mage Bank Lever for, like, 24 hours and see what pops up. Well, I they got my blowpipe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. There you go. So, like, I don't know, like, I, I find that stuff, like, super interesting, but I can't really? help but, like, there, there's, like, this feeling of, like, homeliness and warmth and, well, like, just, you know what you're going to get when I click, I know what I'm going to get when I click on your video. I know what I'm going to get. Mm. And it's nice. I enjoy it, and I I think that pretty much a lot of Nintendo BGM. You yeah, you know what you're getting when you sign up for a fucking Mid Mad Cal video, and that that's you know that's superb, bro. That's really good. Thanks, Seriously, bro. man, like I've really really been enjoying your videos, man. I really have. Too that, yeah, when uh, dude, I gotta stop you patting you were, on the back, dude. Come on, I know, come bro. No now. one ever does this. This is the first <laughs> handprint on there in years, dude. Um, what you said you were getting into PvP, bro. Whatever. I'm waiting for that. Uh, you know, let the bodies hit the floor. Remake <laughs> coming out whenever that happens, uh, dude. Heavy metal. Yeah. Oh, man. Montage. <laughs> God, I'd love to, but like, you know, you just risk your your channel nowadays. You, you know, Ray, Ray sees it's... the middleman. He's the middleman. He's the yeah. money making guy, right? You can make money PvP. And you can make money PvMing, right? So you know, Ray is truly the middleman. Dude, like the only. The only kind of money making I don't touch is <laughs> when Staking. it's anything oh, to do with skilling. Well, if it's like some oh, skilling yeah, shit, I'm out. I'm not interested. Yeah, yeah, watch me for that. Watch me for that. Yeah. yeah. Um, the best and also, you get is like what pet. I mean, it's yeah. cool, but it's not money. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not like you're getting. No, it's, it's actually it's actually Ring of Endurance. They're like forty mil. You oh, need high shit. level agility. You need to be Neo and dodge all the traps in the supplement. You know how bad I am? I didn't even know that was a thing, dude. I didn't even, that's yeah. a new ring in me. You just taught me something. Cool. Yeah, yeah. We that have really a good right. balance. Isn't that place balance. like good GP per hour, Rice? I remember hearing a while back. Oh, it's yeah, like, I mean, the ring's the ring's like 40 mil. So. Anything that yeah. is incredibly yeah. unfun is really good money per hour in risk. Cape, apparently. So anything that you really just don't want to be doing, you're making bank. That's why everyone's unhappy. You're rich <laughs> and unhappy. They're just incredibly <laughs> mad at each other. They think it's uh, their Iron Man mode. It's because all the it's just not fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the I'm only, not. I'm not about the money though. Thankfully, in, in RuneScape, in RuneScape, you, I you have the money, bro. <laughs> you have the money, bro. What do you mean about uh, you have I, I all do. of it? I, I know, I know, but that's yeah. I just you have one percent of the wealth, bro, <laughs> in the game on your Iron Man, bro. Like zero point one percent. But yeah, the only other only other money making <laughs> yeah. that I don't like is personally, I'm not a fan of like services. Right, so like I'm, I'm specifically singling out one YouTuber here. Sell the mission. I'll give you. I, I'll give you <laughs> uh, funny a right hit. Here. Longest ne neck is the neck real selling feet pics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, he uploaded a video, and I was. I remember seeing it, bro. He came into my chat like on the day he uploaded his video, mm -hmm. which was like uh, Ringscape's uh, best money makers, which I was working on at the time. And it's all services. He the same the same day, like he uploads it, and I see the title of the video. I get like a you know I've rang his bell, so I see the notification on my phone. Solar missions uploaded, like RuneScape's plus money makers. And there was a part of me just for a second that was like, oh, he's doing the same video as me, and he he's got it out like probably two weeks before I'm gonna get mine out. And I clicked on it, and the first thing I saw was him joining a Discord. And trying to <laughs> sell speed times to someone, and I was like, "Yes!" I was like, "He hasn't ruined my plan." Because <laughs> I, I gotta say, I, the I solo, that, like, man, so just props to this man, still absolutely killing it. Even though it's weird money makers, the man still out here finding content no one's doing, and then just capitalizing on it. Any hype yeah, moment? He's, he's the any, mar it, marketer. Wasn't he like really market. deep into the achievement diaries too? I mean, I, did oh, you ever see solo? He finished it now, yeah. That's insane. Did you ever see that man? Like he just he adapts, overcomes. I think it's that neck too. It gives him the like fucking. <laughs> he's looking around. You can see it he's over all the content. Right? He sees around corners, man. That's what it is. <laughs> he's fucking just, he probably always solo, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah. forget about us when you're up in the clouds, you big old giraffe. You fucking. He's already there, <laughs> brother. He's seeing <laughs> us from above. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, I'm sure he'll be a recurring guest for a lot mm. of our. Don't clip yeah. this. We want him back on. Don't. No.
<laughs> no, 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 no. He I, wants I to be watches, back on. Dude, I think he watches he quite a lot of the podcasts, to be fair. He's just sitting there, dude. Like, well, what? It, okay, no more Nick jokes. Sorry, buddy. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's too much. It's not. Yeah, that's, that's just you. Points. You too. I don't. I don't do that, Nick. Honestly, it's just so fun. But his neck is very proportional to his body. You know, it's yeah. great. Great neck, brother. Great throat gain. All right, we're done. Let's skip on this. But yeah, that's kind of like our main visions and plans for a hot minute, you know, for for, for the foreseeable future. Oh, uh, well, actually, we're probably going to do some like um, kind of like shorts as well. Not like those 20 second ones. We're not really sure where we're going with that. But we're going to try to like, you know, some some podcasts tend to get really spicy in critical moments. But unfortunately, with YouTube viewers attention span, social media, you know, people's attention spans usually do not last more than like five minutes you know even on an hour-long video so you know for you guys that actually listen while driving your trucks for an hour man you guys are freaking awesome but honestly most people that do end up clicking they'll probably only watch like five minutes of it so they miss out on like super great moments right that that can happen 30 minutes in the video so we're gonna try to like you know captivate some of the you know the the people the average viewers that are you know more on the lower attention span stuff and 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 show them a kind of like a, a a highlight of that podcast, like a really important moment. Pretty much think of the Joe Rogan podcast, but since yeah. it's not on YouTube anymore, you see the highlights. But we're going to have both. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have both. Yeah. So that way you guys get the best of both worlds, you know. You're busy. You just want to get like the meat of the moment. You got it. Hey, you got time. You want to listen to the whole thing. You got it. Driving. You want to listen to the whole thing. You got it. Yeah. We just yeah, want to give you guys no. more options and obviously more, uh, you know, for different types of people right because speaking of our long-term viewers right here if you're watching right now go ahead and type hammer time in the chat thank you just just catch yeah. my yep. guard there Dude, Let's see what we I, have. I, I, uh, time yeah. god i can't speak on, on top of that something worth pointing out is that most of the people watching this video we don't have a guest so i imagine most people watching this video you guys probably enjoy the podcast you probably watch a lot of the episodes like regardless so yeah big shout out to all of you guys yeah but, you know shout out to all the you. truck drivers you well know. we don't we don't have a guest but i you know it could be pretty spicy you know you never yeah. know what's coming up next on the podcast oh, wait, we have we have some names in mind some new guests of course some reoccurring ones for like that they'll fit our our topic you know of of that particular podcast that will take so. your expectations and quadruple them chat right? oh, no. <laughs> five yeah. acts the boys i already acts, did dude. i am yeah. pulling it right now we uploaded this video and then <laughs> they won't hear from us for our three months now i want to i want to get their hype though for sure no, for real, right for now real. my brain is on the next two podcasts after this so we're going to try to get the two of the spiciest podcasts back to back to get the momentum going and then take it from there so that's at the very least what you could expect from me and the boys here on the osr's podcast channel is two very spicy podcasts after this one and then we take it from there and of course if we see your feedback we see your support which we have been why wouldn't we keep going? Yeah, Not like yeah, we're bro. getting paid, bro. Of course we're going to keep going. You guys keep us going. Yeah. You know? Hey, I man. It. It'd be great if we do get paid in the future because that way we can actually run this like, you know, like a like it's a well you gotta, I do got to feed right? my children. So that Yeah, but other, you know what I mean? We're still down to keep doing this as is. But, you know, definitely with some extra income, we can definitely do yeah, no, with, for sure. That, like we we've had like previous discussions, right? With like, oh, should we make a Patreon? Uh, recently, I've been thinking in my mind. I'm like, man, should we do like a merchandise thing? I, I think that we're like, it, say if you're not, but I feel like the general consensus here is like, we don't want to do that before we're like fully committed to doing the podcast. If that makes sense. Like we're committed to doing it, but I, I feel like the general consensus is like we don't want people to like give us money if we're not going to be uploading like frequent content from this channel specifically for it yeah we're semi-frequent you know so yeah my thought right is now. that when i think of patreon i think of titties so i don't really like i just it gets real yeah. like I, do, do people actually just have patreons that are unsexual is that a thing I mean, what dude where well like, you what? mean like only fans or something isn't you know, that where like, it started yeah. isn't that like the footprints i of guess no dude i i think patreon not always Dude, I, I'm actually subscribed to a Patreon, like one. Oh, I pay, God. dude, I pay twenty dollars a month. Can you can you guess? Can you guess what it is? P Pokemon cards. Pokemon, Pokemon cards. cards. Pokemon cards. Like, yeah, it. deadly I serious. Deadly serious. Mystery. 
<laughs> cards on a sock delivered monthly. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bro, it's literally it, it's used. <laughs> there's a uh, there's a Pokemon uh, YouTuber, someone in the watching this might know, a dude called SM Pratt. So he's just he's been in the game for such a long time. He has um, quite he, I, I would say that his insight into the market, I value it. So yeah, I pay twenty dollars a month and I, I get to access all of his private videos. Uh, which he does like three or four videos a month, just talking about the market and private stuff. Private videos, brother. What's what's? Yeah. Why are they private? What's he showing you? Is it... uh, well, it's just his like. It, it's basic, just mm. like. I, how do I explain? Use my it? secret yeah. card. Unzips. I mean, like. It, it will be. It will be stuff <laughs> which is like right. So you know that there's that saying which is like you know if you're good at something, never do it for free. Well, this dude has insight which has proven to be very good. Right? Is it like, so like like the stock trading, but with Pokemon cards? Like the value goes up and down weekly. Like how deep is well, this? Well, there'll, there'll be stuff like, like um, it'll be things like uh, you know, overrated, underrated cards, and like when there's going to be the next print run of a certain set that we're looking for, things of that nature, um, and, and just like insight into the hobby because this dude's been doing it for like probably fifteen, seventeen years, and he never stopped. So like he has like a really good understanding of like where the market's been and how the market kind of moves and how it's historically been, if that makes sense. So yeah. Mm -hmm. um, basically. Yeah. So th that's what I watch, but I know there's a lot of podcast Patreons as well. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't, I do. When I think of Patreon, I don't think of titties. I do. Like, <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think, I, I, was, I, I think of like and feet. titties and feet. Yeah, yeah. But not because I'm into it, but because everybody in my chat's like, "When are you selling feet pics?" And I'm like, "Why is?" I hope that's a meme. I hope to God this is just Twitter spam or something, bro. Like it's mm. apparently a like 2020 was ass, 2022 is feet. I don't know where we're going as a species, but I don't want to know what 2024 means because I just it'd be it'd be something, dude. Yeah, I've never. Do you know what? I've, I'll be honest with you. Like I've never really been that into feet. And I know I don't. If you are, hey, more more no, power to I you. I don't. I don't get it, but I don't hate it. I just un, I don't understand why there's such a, like a wave of feet. like we are yeah. locked down for like almost a year, and everyone comes out wanting feet. I mean, I don't. I just I'm trying to understand. You know what I'm saying? It's like at least ass. Everyone has an ass. I don't know if we get an off subject here. Oh, we are. Nice. A little bit. A little I think bit. you understand what I like. Cheeks. Dude. I get that. I don't know about the eating. Dude, whatever. So right. Feet? I, I don't know. It's There's a wave. There's a wave going on. I guess I'm old. I don't know. I've seen some stuff recently. Yeah, I've seen some content creators posting pictures where they cover their toes, and it's like, these aren't free. <laughs> 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 it's I, half I, meme, half serious. I, I literally know girls I that know. literally sell feet pics for, like, side money. You know? It's a thing. It's a real thing. So Legit. if you're wearing sandals, you're pretty much just showing off free product. Is that what's going on? Are they killing off the I, songs? I don't know, man. I didn't, I didn't ask that far. I didn't ask that far. It's I, just, I just okay. Know. Oh, sorry I for just, bringing this up. Right, Re was just like, here's your money. End of transaction. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Not me, dude. Conversation yeah. is over. Toes yeah, and get the fuck out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my bad for derailing this. But I, that's honestly what I think would I think of Patreon. But getting back not to the like, whole like yeah. podcast. And money it's you know i'm more i'm more ha i'm more than happy that like if we just get more views we'll just make more money right and then we'll have some excess money that we can use for other life yeah, like, meaningful I'm, things too at the know? moment it so, seems like we're in this bracket of like there's going to be a fund and that fund could like pay for trips to rune fest or it could pay for new gear and but we're not to the to the level where we don't have to think of money as money anymore and we're just getting views and then all yeah, of a sudden yeah, okay everyone's there. getting we're like split there. that's not even a thing <laughs> in my mind bro no, I'm, no, not, close, right? I'm not even trying to get to that point i'm just trying to really honestly want to talk with some awesome dudes about some awesome yeah. topics and if for some reason the community builds around that and uh it goes fa farther than we expected I then we could dig deeper into this is is honest and merch i i don't even think that's a money maker honestly it's more of like effort versus time to get people to wear our shit and that'd be kind of cool but it's not really money money Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, not, no, it's no. not what I'm going for either. So, like, none of that's been on my mind, honestly. Yeah, just, my main I'm, focus personally yeah. is definitely just to grow the channel. You know, right? Get, get more people into kind of like getting to the idea that, like, hey, uh, I don't. You don't need to just watch RuneScape for like someone playing the game. You can also just watch and listen to people talk about the game. Yeah. Right. And and you know, it's just 
just talk and listen about it, right? It's a, it's a different vibe. This is one of the first podcast channels. Honestly, when I when I made it way back in the day, I was thinking like of ways to make content without making content. I'm thinking, don't people want to really just know about RuneScape at all times? You know what I mean? Yeah, like it's they kill their life. Yeah, and yeah. then they watch long videos. I remember people watching Autumn Elegy talk while he mines <laughs> yeah. for an hour, and I'm thinking, shit, if he can do it, let's start a podcast, right? Like, and I, I honestly think we may have been the first podcast, not the biggest or the best starting, but just the first one to actually start this wave, or one of the first. I want to give. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. dude, yeah, so, yeah. 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 I, I think no, we I, were definitely like the premier one for uh, for RuneScape for a long time, you know. I don't sure. think that there's a podcast from four years ago for RuneScape that's still going. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but I don't know about. I think, it. and I, I, think I, I look at just... this stuff a lot, so I'm aware of. And what, we're not, what's and we're not right talking now. about podcasts are doing well in RuneScape. There are podcasts right now that are doing very well, but we don't know if they're four you know, years yeah, old. Yeah, kudos, you know, kudos to the other uh, creators. Uh, you know, like nowadays you have, you know, a bunch of other creators. Like we, you have like the base like podcast. You have like Sebe doing their podcast. You know, uh, as of recent years, so I, mean, I think Jimmy's are, got one too, right? Yeah, Jimmy and yeah, I know yeah. Settle. They did, did did something. I don't know if they do it for. Oh, people, it's not settled, dude. Don't be doing the man not like anymore. That. It's not free? anymore, bro. It's the fucking. I thought, no, I thought, it's the gray wolf man. What do you mean? Rain? No, no. I thought it's fucking no, I thought nine they, rain. No, I thought they had a group one, right? What happened to that? Uh, they did one. I, I don't know. I, you're talking oh, about okay, something. Okay, no, because I, I was yeah, I was talking about a different group. But we may have help start that wave i think what happens with ideas dude is that when it i was watching this podcast about brains and how the brain uh you take like say if you're thinking about your house you think of each room and then the stuff in there you you get a nice little blueprint of it and i think until humans have that blueprint they don't bounce off that idea so when we made the podcast people were thinking oh okay we want to talk about rootscape too and make a channel it looks like someone else is semi succeeding. Let's try. Like, like Tile Man, right? No one in the history of the world ever thought that standing in a tile and chopping a tree was going to be Pog Champ. But ever since that blueprint was born, it was evolved and evolved and evolved. And now it's some of the top content on YouTube, view wise, of course. So we may have started that trend just a bit and hopefully we can carry it the rest of the way. I'm yeah, honestly yeah. so pogged about the art on the channel. The little mini avatars, dude, and uh, just the the next lineup of guests that we may or may not have. I have, oh, well, we'll hopefully have. <laughs> Let's start By that wave way, again, boys. Yeah. I, I think mm -hmm. it's worth uh, adding on to this conversation, right? It's so like I don't. I, I think it's a, a cool feat that we have done a podcast for four years. I think that's awesome. Um, but like, I'm a big kind of like. I don't know if I believe in it, but I, the way that I think about something is like, it doesn't matter so much who did it first. It's about who did it best. Right. Um, and like the thing with podcasts that are so great and unique is like, there's no podcast that could imitate what we do because we're all separate entities and we all think in different ways and same for everybody else. Right. And to add on to it, like I noticed recently that based, which is like tasty, um, mofo, I'm really bad with names. Those oh, is, dudes. is that Iron Mofo? Uh, I'm not. No, I'm not too sure. Different. He's oh, the okay. editor. He's like the graphics. Editor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Bunch of dudes like made a new podcast, and like, I, I think that a lot of people always like see. I think a lot of people, especially with YouTube, see stuff as like competition, and it, you know, it's like, oh, there are a competition now. But I don't see it like that. I see it like they're exposing more of the cons, uh, more of long format podcasts to the runescape community which i think can only benefit the other podcasts to be perfectly honest like i don't know if that's a naive way of thinking but i don't see it as like oh they're the competition now i, I like to you know? i like to see it as friendly competition and also yeah, yeah. as a way to to get people to, and, and as a way to speed up the normalization of the podcast because yeah. here's the deal when i when i you know join you guys at his early stages um Obviously, the the whole idea of a podcast, honestly, even with even outside of RuneScape, was still very like question mark. You know what I mean? Like it was just something that like uh, some people had this idea and they wanted to you know try it out. And like eventually, right? Like podcasting as a concept just really blew up as of late. Right? The past few years, 
it's it's been massive like i'm not even talking about runescape right? i'm just talking about in general context it's been massive and i think it's starting you know for us uh starting a podcast a long time ago when it wasn't really a thing yet quite quite yet especially within runescape context it was it felt like there was a lot of resistance at times right it felt like you know when we were making putting putting a podcast out it just felt like what what exactly are we doing you know what like what what is here you go at? four or five 20 yeah. viewers Enjoy right? and, yeah. and, and like you, you just you weren't even sure like what is even a runescape podcast but now it, it's gone to a point where like There's okay i noticed that, yeah i noticed that a lot of people are watching it now like more people They're like not not quite like crazy amount of people watching but like a lot more runescape related people are listening and checking out podcasts in general and then more people are also doing their podcasts so it feels like there's this kind of like structure right starting to develop and like you know obviously we want to be like in the forefront of that right we want to be the ones to kind of like I, I it doesn't have to be lead but we just want to be at the front really showing people that like hey this id this concept of content is really interesting to watch or listen to it might be it might be more convenient for you it might fit your style more than a general prize video you know because like for example you can only watch someone get 99 fire making so many times until you're like okay you know the only difference is that okay maybe he's just doing one tile at a time and he's getting found 99 fire making right? i feel like with a podcast there's so much more quirks to it you know there's so many more things that like conversation wise could be different every time like you like different people different events when we talk about it you don't you can't predict that stuff sometimes right what people will say how you know what the feelings are about it right like these moments are so unique right rather than like sometimes content creation could be very dry and very repetitive right on it's, our personal channel so so i feel I, like podcast mm -hmm. is somewhere something we, we're getting to now like, i, I honestly specific. agree with everyone's point and like racy also said like it's not the first person to do it but the person who does it the best but also the first person starts to wave so someone can do it better right which is always uh great and he's also saying about you know there's not i was, I was just watching a podcast and it, it, it hit me because i always stress that maybe I was too late making a video or too late coming here for content or too late to do something. I'm always acting like there's a limited amount of success in the world. When in reality, the success is built from overcoming something or creating something that people want to watch. It's not because there's a limited amount. It's just people don't know about it. And you got to create that success, right? And I feel like we've done a great job at starting something like that. And maybe we can start building up that success as we go on dude and honestly yeah. like the whole podcast thing like for any subject at all and i don't want to talk a lot about censorship right i think we all understand that's happening but i think the only reason why podcasts in general are so big nowadays is because we just wanted to watch normal people talk about normal shit in case we didn't want to be told what to talk you know talk about or whatnot what we just want to have a conversation and it feels like free conversations nowadays are so rare that podcasting just blew up. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, it's like, it like, right. It's like listening to your favorite comedian, right? It's just like certain people when they speak about subject matter or just the way they talk in general, it's very appealing to like spend time listening to, right? It like actually makes your day better. Right. So podcasting is almost no different, right? You know, you just, the, yeah. the way we talk, the way we format talking, the way, you know, we certain guests come along, like it, it really rings people's ears it, like it's music, you know? So, yeah, so, yeah like we're trying to do that. Humans were born to talk to each other, bro. It's communication, so, telling stories that travel down to generations, dude. All this is built in, you know, and it just felt like maybe the last couple of years conversations weren't happening as much and people's minds were just drawn to podcasting. They want to hear about these subjects. They want to hear about what's not on the news. They want to hear about the viewpoint of a gamer in a game instead of maybe a dev, right? They want to hear about the struggles going on behind the scenes, dude, like in the wilderness or PVM or these glitches or maybe, you know, the, what was that non-disclosure agreement they had people sign on the OSR? Like they want to know about that shit because it's one, interesting and two, it's something that's not going to be said mainly on any news site or, or Twitter or fucking... It's novel. Yeah. 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 They want to hear about discussion. what's going on. That's yeah. it. It's just conversations like, and freedom of information just, just in between, you know, just passing yeah. info, dude. I, so. I think um, something as well is like, so with us, we've had such an array of guests on our channel over the years, and it's like we've had content creators, we've had J-Mods, you know, and it's like, 
if, if I, I feel like with censorship for us, like the only censorship there really is, is, you know, say for example, we're speaking badly about Jagex, right? And how could that hurt us? Well, that would hurt us in the sense of like, well, they might not want to come on the podcast, but I'd rather be able to tell people how I feel about something than like either pretend that it's not happening just for the sake of having a continued relationship and a good light. And I, I'm not saying that that's us at all. Like, I don't think that, you know, we were like on Jagex's bad books or yeah, anything like that. No. But like in terms of censorship, like I, I'd say that we're all very truthful with our feelings, how we feel about stuff. And at the end of the day, we're not here to try and get in anyone's good books. We're just here to talk about issues or subjects that we're interested in. And we're talk about them truthfully and how, how we feel about it, you yeah. know? When I, when I was speaking of censorship, by the way, I was just talking about like broader spectrums of things we don't, we're not going to cover, right? Just other podcasts. But for sure, there is a difference between someone who has always sent stuff from RuneScape. They got their shirts and their things. And if something goes wrong, that person may not be the first one to call it out because they don't want to lose that bit of sway they have. Because that bit of sway is it, that is a career maker. On it, let's be real. A bit of sway with Jagex can do a lot of good for your career, right? Well, whereas if something's going wrong in the game and it affects us, you're you're gonna hear about it, bro. Yeah, you're yeah, gonna hear about yeah. it in depth. You're gonna hear about a conversation. We're not rude. We're not calling any J mods out. We're not calling anybody out. We never do call outs name wise. Watch our podcast. We've never ever called anyone out like that. But we will call out shitty or just bad things that happen in the game or bugs we want fixed or things that we just don't think are fair. We will not really uh water that down at all because if we water it down then what the hell is this podcast about honestly bro why yeah. the hell do you want to hear a bunch of watered down shit about it Dude, you're here because you want to hear about the game breaking shit that's going on in the background some some things that just need to be said that aren't aren't being said by some of the top people and that's okay i agree that uh, if i was in their position I, I would also probably have a bit of a hesitation calling shit out when i see it but we're yeah. not and well, I, I probably won't thing. ever be, and I'm, I'm, I enjoy having open conversations about the game I love because yes, someone's got to, you know. I, I think as well, like, I, I'll say this as an observation, is like, I, I've seen a lot of comments on our podcast, and I, I check the comments on here to see, and I think me and Ricecap are on top of our shit. I don't know about Mintus when it comes to reading <laughs> Dude, I'm feedback. scared to read these comments, dude. We have different uh, I'll ways read them of... all day, bro. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> everybody, ju everybody just thinks that Mint Mad Cow is, like, high as fuck the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Half the dude's, podcast, possibly. Uh, no, we, we, we need the personalities, okay? We can't have three yeah. of the same personalities. It doesn't it fucking will, matter, dude. Dirty, like... Right. Mate, look, right. Mint, I love Mint to right. bits. Mint says stuff that I love. Mint says stuff that I'm just, like, fucking dying at. Mint <laughs> says shit that I don't agree with sometimes. Like, that's fine, bro. Like, you don't, we don't have to. And I think that's the thing that's been good about our podcast, is that we don't always have the same opinion. And I think that's good, because I, it, it kind of feels like a fucking cult if you're watching a podcast and it's, like, three dudes that are all nodding their heads, like, yes, we have the same opinion. I'm not yes. about that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, I, I, I've seen comments on like the podcast we've done with Jmods where people are like, they, they've literally typed out like, it's really refreshing to see these conversations in such like a relaxed... Less restriction, yeah. Yeah, like an opus yeah. honest conversation with Jmods and like people really appreciate that. And I love that, dude. And I think it's right because, you know, it, it's like when we have the J-Mods on, we certainly are a certain way in terms of, like, our vibe and our transparency. Uh, and I think that I, I'd like to think that it's quite welcoming and, like, comforting to, to people coming on. Like, we're, we're just here for, like, a conversation and we're just, you know, trying to get our opinions across. I think that's a good thing. Oh, dude, actually, I'm so pumped yeah. for this podcast, dude. I'm just saying, like, I know we're just talking and catching up. But yeah. uh, I feel like maybe a part of me was missing for a month or two, dude. Just just yeah, yeah, because like, I forgot about this grind. I won't lie, dude. I love I love the podcast, but I I was just so caught up in my own grind that I forgot how fun it is to actually talk <laughs> deeply about the yeah. shit we do, and yeah. that honestly, not even like that we're getting paid or anything, but that people care to hear our point of views too. I mean, you don't gotta listen to our yakking. You know, you can go and watch anything, but you're here because. 
some reason, I guess. Yeah. But some, you you might enjoy some of the things we say or our points of view. And just I mean, having that feedback yeah. is enjoyable enough for me. Dude, they they to, can to listen. They can listen and disagree. Like that's fine. I, I listen no, to a no, lot they of. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I listen to like a load of stuff. Like you don't understand. Like I, I listen to people that I completely agree with. I listen to people that I completely disagree with, just because it gives me a different perspective. And then I'll take all of those different opinions and sides, and I'll come to a conclusion on my own on how I feel about something. Right, which I think is probably a healthy way of doing it instead of just nodding your head and being like, "Yes, I agree with your take." Um, I totally lost my trial of thought, but I need to go for a pee, so I'll be back in just a second. You know, I oh, saw the look okay. on his face. I could tell he lost his train of thought. Yo, okay, is that a power? I, I could call it. What's up, dude? Yeah, we really uh, also, you know, I, I know, I know, we're kind of like still a smaller com community, right? In, in in terms of like how how big we could grow in, in the RuneScape category, but like. Some of you guys uh, must l have some of your favorite creators that haven't really made it to the podcast, right? Or like really cool topics that, uh, you know, only three of us are limited to not thinking about, right? So like, you know, uh, us as a whole community, we could really bring about more ideas, more topics, more guest ideas. Mm -hmm. for like if we content see too. content creators yeah. who've been grinding, we would love to give them a platform. Personally, what I'm going to be doing this year is not just grinding my own PvP content, but I want to see if I can take others' contents that are coming into the PvP community, making videos. Because for me, I mean, Rice, you definitely promote the PVMers, the Iron Man, all that, all that good stuff. But for me, I really want to put a spotlight on PvP content, the content that we grew up watching as a kid, Elf Mage, all these, all these goodies, dude. I want to try to rebuild that community, bro. You shouldn't have like some sort of negative connotation about slapping cheeks in the wild. That should be like the sickest thing. You know? That should yeah. be celebrated. So I would definitely like to put a spotlight on those kind of creators that are building, constantly uploading, doing new and in innovative, innovative ideas, have them on the podcast. Um, even on my Discord, I have a little area where you can post your videos and shield your content. You know, just so because... You know, some people are looking for new PvP content and they don't know where to go and they just do OSR's PvP and YouTube. It's like sometimes people don't know tags. You you might have to go and find these hidden gems, right? And then show your buddies. So that that's kinda another goal for me this year is to put a spotlight yeah. mm. on that kind of content that I want to watch for sure. Yeah, you know, with throw that up. With respect to what you said, you know, like us, of course, we we for the most part have uh, you know, thought of the ideas for the podcast to talk about and invited the guests. But I think I think I, I personally feel like more than ever before, you know, our, our ideas, uh, we've used up a lot of them. Right. And it'll take some time for us personally to build more interesting ideas. I, I have some now that, you know, that can probably carry forward for for quite a, quite a while. But, hey, if the community, if you guys, you know, have some really interesting topics and guests you want to recommend, definitely leave those, you know, in, in the comments, wherever, because those are some of the best feedback that we can ever get because that way we can uh, you know keep making more interesting content and content that you guys like that we never even thought of right so definitely yeah. shout it in the comments man whenever possible and like yeah just give us compelling insight on what 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 new Probably, ideas we, um, do, just know? compelling content creators yeah. and stuff like that but like issues that you see yeah issues too yeah. in the community yeah. that we can put a light on dude issues mm -hmm. Like, um, maybe there's some weird shit going on in Caffer B that no one talks about. Or for me, yeah. it would be the multi to single combat in the wilderness, which is just really wacky. Like, we need to put a sh spotlight on things that are not being shown at all. Because let's be real, RuneScape is one of the most updated games, MMOs of all time, but they ain't getting everything. They're getting a lot. Definitely not everything. So, let's yeah, hope also, that, there's help a them get everything. Yeah, like sometimes, man, even like a random player, you could spot something that's like super out of the ordinary and, you know, maybe people don't believe you. Like, even mention that there sometimes because, like, we could maybe investigate that, right? And, Ooh, and dig investigations, deeper, right? dude. Little right, that'd be cool. Right? You know, that'd be really cool, too. Like, just ideas that you think, like, wow, I, I could share this and maybe they'll, they can talk about it, right? Like, why not, right? Like, it'd be very interesting because some of the yeah. coolest ideas. You know, some of us, even the most experienced players, sometimes we're too biased at times. You know, we, we won't think about those ideas, you know. So an average viewer or, or low-level RuneScape player or, or high-level RuneScape player, you guys have all these different ideas, different, you know, walks of life, different 
um, you know, interesting topics, right? To to kind of suggest. So I'm looking Dude, forward to those, honestly. I think uh, I would like to do a podcast at some point where uh, maybe maybe if you guys have an idea for a podcast you'd like to do as well, this would be a good time to share. Yeah, plenty. I, we have plenty of ideas. Yes. Something that we're very fortunate to have done, and like we're quite privileged in a sense, is that because we're content creators, we've been able to fully bask in the glory of playing RuneScape 24-7. Right, it's like you guys. You guys don't have other jobs to be at. If you wanted to, you could play RuneScape for the next twenty-four hours, and you'd be okay. Right? Most people only play for what maybe between one and four hours a day if they're lucky, because they work, they have families, etc. So I'm very conscious conscious of the fact that we have a bias, right, in the way that we see the game. Even if we think that we're being non-biased because we're trying to include other True. people, but the reality is, is that we'll never fully understand what it's like to see RuneScape through the eyes of somebody that can only play one to four hours a day. So it's like I would like to do a podcast at some point where we could potentially have that with somebody who could give us some good insight because their takes on things are going to be vastly different from the way that we see stuff, like vastly. And I, yeah, I just think that have, would be an interesting uh, interesting subject and conversation to have. Yeah, you can now, have actually various topics in relation to that, right? I enjoyed RuneScape much more when I was playing one to four hours a day, by the way. I will just say, <laughs> I, I honestly, it was, it was magical. It was fun. I didn't know what anything was. Now I'm just like, who am I going to kill for the next five minutes of dopamine? That's all I'm doing. Like, I, there is no enjoyment until someone drops for me, dude. So I guess I'm playing it wrong because I enjoyed uh -huh. RuneScape so much. I, I think I One think it's hours. age. You know, I think a lot yeah. of that's age and money involved. No, but mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah. There's just, yeah, like, of course we can. Um, there, there's always this idea that like we can bring in, in people that aren't creators and stuff. And I think, I think for sure that um that has a lot of potential, right? But I think we have to be, we have to think a bit more carefully about who. Who, who we we bring in right because it can't be just any random person because like what if the person just doesn't like to talk you know <laughs> much yeah, yeah. right and then it's just us talking the whole time so i i think we should think about getting uh you know non-creators to talk about are you talking about like um people like, who've done extraordinary stuff but don't make content on RuneScape? yeah like yeah that. i mean that could be like an easy one for example but like let's say let's say it's like we want to because like there's a lot of cool cool topics. For example, um, for example, right? There's always this debate about casual players, um, and and veteran players when it comes to them deciding on like voting a, on a poll, for example, right? Like we 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 could have a car, you know, we could have a, a podcast where we could get an actually very, um, like just just a very like well mannered casual player that really really talks meaningfully right like like he, he he can really explain to us why he feels the way he does right in a, in, in a you know in a in, in a in a more kind of like just just less route in a less rowdy manner that everyone can understand that everyone can try to you know emphasize and like same and then like us for us we're like veteran players right so then we can like have a a, a discussion but i feel like those kind of those kind of topics get really heated really easily right when it's one side versus the other so like if we can really screen someone that that is a casual player that would actually be able to talk and and have a proper discussion without without it turning to you, you know, could just bring me on and i don't talk about pvp no i'm, I'm just saying like <laughs> like it's just you know what i mean like if we if we properly kind of like get get someone from that side in then i think it would be a really interesting uh type of podcast right just as an idea there's many different ideas where it could involve a non-creator coming would, in to discuss right i think the best way to do that would probably be uh to get like applicants so people that are interested and also hit the criteria yeah. if we did i think it would be that. like simply right simply just youtube comment right 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 about why you should be in the podcast and like what what kind of you know like just based on how they write like he's looking for the worst stance he's just yeah like like based on how they write it and stuff i, I think we could learn a lot about like their demeanor right because like we mm. want someone that can actually really talk compelling right you know, right, and, and like give some really good points and actually have a civil conversation about it. I, I think that would be a public speaker that is horrendous at RuneScape. Yeah, <laughs> yeah something like that, right? Like somebody that can articulate their words and and really talk what the, you know talk their points in in a very 
understandable you know, way, right? So, yeah, um, we should have like a that. podcast on just straight up money making in RuneScape. Like, we should bring on like the richest person in the game and just like let's do the bring complete like, opposite and just paid. bring like the <laughs> richest person in the game. And be like, how? Uh-huh. How did this happen? Oh, dude. Now? Well, you know it's the Dune Arena. Like, let's just be honest. Yeah. Okay, but maybe someone. I'm sure there's people at 40 bill banks that don't even touch staking, though. Let's be real. There's some sweaty Mountain Dew soak chairs out there yeah. and sitting on top of that are some of the richest RuneScape players. I mm-hmm. guarantee. But who are those? I don't actually. It's yeah, no, that'd be really difficult. I don't like though. who is one of the richest RuneScape players right now. Yeah. Let's I don't bring think, her on. Dude, right, yeah. the, I think the trouble with this is a lot That's of those people. A lot of those gauge. people like to stay anonymous. Is that, is that how you say it? Is it anonymous? Yeah. I like anonymous. the way you say it better. That's <laughs> anonymous? Anonymous. Right? Anonymous. Anonymous. anonymous? Well, yeah. they like to say... say like they, like to, they, like to the, they like to be in the <laughs> shadows <laughs> because they fear getting their hack, their accounts hacked. Right? Because, uh, like, it's it's happened. Like, when people have loads of money and they let that be known, uh, those accounts have been hacked in the past. And, like... Oh, if I there's see. if there's a will, then there's a way, and there are hackers out there that have done a lot more than hacking a RuneScape account. So, I would know. like to do a podcast on hacks too, right? Because there was a huge one that was refunded because it was literally a JMod going rogue, yeah. and they had to refund, and people got bills back. And the same day, most of those people insta soul because they said, "Nah, I ain't playing this game." They, all my friends roasted me about not having a two step. I had a two step. I'm done. Maybe we should do a video as well. Like, we want topics. This would be a really cool topic. Like, the mm. biggest hacks on RuneScape, dude. Like, should we invite the, the J-Mod that hacked all the... Can we Jeff. even find him? I, yeah. I don't know who that was, honestly. Who was this? Does, it it was Mod Jet, I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty oh, sure, like, th- there basically have been, like, two rogue mods that we know of. One was Mod Jed, and um, I can't think of the name of the other one. But yeah, he, he, yeah, Mod Reach. Yeah. Mod Reach. We should have a J Mod on that's okay with talking about the other two J Mods that went crazy. That would probably. I mean, we did. We did talk about Matt that. Word. To be honest. We, we, yeah, you know, yeah. he actually did talk about that on that. Yeah, yeah. Like only that though. Like it's so interesting because people. When, when we're playing the game, they're like, oh, do you think something weird happened or someone do something sketchy? And everyone's like, nah, dude. And I keep reminding people, everything that you think has not happened has happened at least once in this game. Tebow dupes, JMOS hacking accounts, infinite Gmall glitch, bot farms to sizes that you won't even know, duping every single, at least once, maybe twice. So nothing is off the table for RuneScape going forward. And uh, I, I think we should re-remind the community about all these crazy events because they don't, like everyone thinks of a crazy event and they go, what about the Falador Massacre? It's like, we, we've had some like pretty crazy stuff that is almost on par with the Falador Massacre, maybe even bigger than that. Um, but then again, those yeah, parties nowadays guy are way worse. God. We can bring him on. I think he like plays the game still or something. Dude, yeah, dude, insane. this is. Th- there are a yeah. ton of guests that, like, yeah. I would love to have on that are really difficult to get in contact with. So, like, just off the top of my head, I'm like, Elf Mage would be awesome to have on. The dude literally, Elf like, has a YouTube channel, but he's like, Lord a Makeup. Dude, please. You could get all of those guys. They're, they're basically, like, icons of, like, favorite PKer you know. in chat go. From 2000, and then you get people like Zezima, like and boys. Any of you guys that follow us, follow us over on the Old School Escape podcast Twitter, which you should if you don't. Uh, we tweeted him to get his attention, and he replied. And we weren't sure if he was going to reply or not. And he said, "Unfortunately, we're not. You know, I'm not doing that right now, which is fine. You know, um, never. You know, <laughs> you know. And we tried to have Suomi come on." Uh, but Suomi, like, he just wasn't comfortable coming on because he's he's still got, like, some ongoing yeah, stuff of Jagex and so forth. Um, but, yeah, there's, like, there's people that I'd like to have on. Like, I'd like to have, like, Wooks on, you know? People like that. Just people the that are so iconic. Not that Wooks is, but, like, the anti-heroes of RuneScape, pretty much. The yeah, dark yeah. shadow warriors that have impacted the history of the game. Um, yeah. Dude, imagine yeah. imagine having on, um, oh, what's his name? The the dude that did the uh, the Falador massacre, uh, I can't think what his yeah, name Durial. is. Durial, Timothy. sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dur- people like Dur- that, Dur- like, they'd be so interesting. Yeah. I'm down. Hit him up, dude. Call MySpace. Well, this is the, this is the bro. Yeah, most like, of them don't forward, exist online. Have, 
Most of them yeah. don't exist. Like, they're just not found. We'll find like, them, bro. We'll, we'll go door to door. Yeah, any, anyways, we do have, like, podcasts planned for a bit. But yeah, like, there's these ideas that we can totally incorporate into the future. And, like, land them up at some point. Yeah, yeah. Like dominoes. Yeah. That'd be exactly. great. Angry. For sure, for sure. Um, right, boys. Uh, is there any other subject that you guys would like to talk about? I just want to leave them with this. Next to your podcast. Take your next take your feet, you, and just five exit, okay? They're gonna be we're gonna have animated intros, dude. They're gonna grab them, throw them. It's it's top like transformers, okay? It's gonna be top of our. It gets sent to a live stage audience. You know, bring your grandma. Them. Yeah, it's gonna we're gonna have a live audience, <laughs> like friends. Bro, I, do you know what? I, a lot. I would love at some point if, if we ever all three of us like meet up. And uh, big. like we're all free in like a place like Runefest or something yeah. like that. Like we need to do a podcast. Like we need to do a real life podcast. Like that would be yeah. that would be yeah. awesome. Runefest yeah, would be like, the perfect yeah. place as well because there'd be loads of content creators there. So I'm sure we could get that set up. We yeah. could have the biggest OSR's content creator podcast of all time. Just like just have everybody, squares. just have everybody come by. <laughs> yeah, do it, we're doing at Runefest. Like we'll do it at Runefest on the stage in front of all of the people it'd be on the big screen and also yeah. all the content creators yo don't forget leave hammer time in the comments and uh give the video a like we're trying to you know we're trying to really get that momentum flowing so help us out keep the momentum you just gave them the sacred back. word again bro it was supposed to be for the the spies of the the viewership dude the ninjas bro you can't I be giving know, out the secret like word again 30 minutes that was 30 minutes in but this is a, like an hour. Plus, right? <laughs> well, like, they just skip the end. They just love the outros. Dude, what's their favorite part? Dude, yeah. that never happens, man. Oh, and then what they always tell. They always. Mm. You know, was it Hammer yeah. Time or Hammerhead? Sorry, I've forgotten already. I think it was Don't give them hints. They'll yeah. never know. Dude, Hammer that. Hammer something in the chat. But yeah, thank you. Yeah, just thank you for watching the podcast, guys. <laughs> Honestly, and hammer also, at whatever you want. as of right now, we are seventy subscribers away from ten k. Okay, like we only need one sub to be sixty nine away. So you know, just make sure we hit that at least. Just one more sub, please. please. 